Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in because in this video, we are going to take a close look at something pretty damn cool I found. This is the Pachi slot named Tekken 4, but it's kind of confusing because this isn't Tekken 4, it's actually Tekken 7 cutscenes for an Pachi slot, but this time it's going to be the Tekken Pachi slot number 4. So that's the reason they call it number 4. So this is like an exclusive Tekken gameplay slash slot machine they basically released back in Japan. Released on July the 21 in 2019. So this thing is already a couple of years old when making this video. But well, I'm here with Apache Games and I just wanted to take a close look at this amazing looking machine because this thing has some pretty damn cool features. And of course we're going to play a little bit with the machine itself. But this video, we're going to take a close look at the Tekken Pashi slot number 4. At first I was thinking this is going to be like Tekken 4, but it is actually like the fourth in the lineup of Tekken machines. This thing has been based on Tekken 7 and has many animation cutscenes and voice lines and borrowed from the game itself. The Pashi slot Tekken 4 will include a lot of mini games that have been found also on the previous models. This machine also have like two different storylines that are focused on Claudio Severino and Ling Xiaoyong. Nevertheless, I hope you're not butchering the names. Then we have like other fellows like Lars Alexstrun, Alicia Brontkovic and Lee Chao Lan. Nevertheless, this thing will implement a lot of characters that you have seen in the original Tekken games. But what makes this cabinet stand out beside all the other ones I have seen is that this thing will have like a triple curved monitor. It will be like split over three monitors so it's more like this Nvidia surround that we have tested out. Kind of interesting to using the same kind of technology that I've used on my PC. But this time they were creating a curve that so will basically get sucked into the machine itself. In combination with all the RGB lighting they implement that goes like beating on with the music. It is absolutely crazy machine to look at and to play some games. Besides having this surround effect, what is also very cool, we have like awesome tiny like say, things like when Lars calls up, you will see him in the left screen talking. You know, stuff like that makes this cabinet basically bringing it to the next level. The three monitors not only will give you like this cool curved feeling that will suck you in, but it also comes with a lot of cool tiny new features. And I think that's pretty damn awesome. Let's talk about the cabinet itself because you can use this thing at home, plug and play. Pashi games will like modify it depending where you're living or do the voltage. Some machine will run on 110 volts, some will run on 24 volts. And with a special transformer, you can basically like get it to work. Also, this machine has the option to fold down the monitor, so it's going to be super easy to transport them. So that's not going to be an issue whatsoever. You can see when it's clicked, you cannot turn it back and it will stay in this form. Nevertheless, when it comes to playing the game, it's going to be the same like a lot of machines. So we do have like a special button over here and then we have like the max bed. Putting in the coins over there, we do have like the three buttons for the rolls to basically stop them. The little joystick and of course all the other stuff that we're going to need. Let's take a close look at some gameplay and let's see how it is when it comes to that experience. Yes, <laughs> この何があったんですか。そこのあんた頼む。あいつを捕まえてくれ。
はやってるみたいよすみませんどうだこれが宇宙一と呼ばれる男の腰だへえやるじゃない何かやってみるすみませんPersonally, I really love this surround effect, and playing the game is absolutely a blast. I need to take consideration like the music. It's I personally really love it, but it's more like a personal taste. But let's take a close look inside the machine itself. So let's open it up. So what happening over here? Because there is so much stuff going on in the machine itself. You shall need to open it up for basically like folding the screen back in. So that's something you need to take consideration. Yeah, opening it up is only like using one key, so that's not going to be a bigger problem. But when you're looking in the machine itself, it's absolutely crazy if you see what is all inside when it comes to PCBs and all the other stuff. But this machine had been checked, also had been cleaned by Pesci Games. I just needed to point that absolutely out because you can see that this thing looks super clean and even after being using for many years. And they talked about with the maintenance, especially when it comes to these machines, because they are like very durable made. And what I understand, like a lot of parts are not like getting broken that often. Also, you can see like there are two gigantic speakers in here. So there are like 20 watt 8 ohm, and that is like giving you a really nice punch. Some of these machines even implement a subwoofer. So it's absolutely crazy. Then we have like the mechanism for the coins. Then we have like over here the big PCB that basically so far understand controls I think the hopper over here for the return of the coins and going up we will find the three bars for playing the game then I've been connected over here with a pile of cables to this PCB over here nevertheless we have like a lot of parts in the machine but so far I understand you don't need to be afraid these things are very doable made I really love this special slot Tekken 4 and maybe it will be one of my favorite ones thanks for watching consider subscribing hit the little bell and it would be great to see you in the next video